Hello, I'm Tisha Deegan, Deputy County Executive for Fairfax County Health and Human Services. And I'm Stephen Bloom, Chairman of the Fairfax County Human Services Council. Health and Human Services, the Department of Management and Budget, and the Human Services Council has collaborated to develop the Health and Human Services Resource Plan, a new tool that's transforming our approach to budgeting. The Resource Plan provides the community with a better understanding of Health and Human Services priorities and how we can align them with the critical needs of the county. The Resource Plan is not a commitment to fund activities. It is simply a planning tool to guide the budgeting process. It is our hope that in addition to government leadership, the nonprofit and philanthropic community uses this tool to plan and invest in our county's health and human services priorities. Here's how the resource plan works for county agencies and how it can work for you. The Fairfax County Health and Human Services includes eight agencies and two community centers each requiring different levels of funding to ensure their programs meet the needs of county residents. The resource plan serves as a blueprint that strategically outlines funding and staffing requirements across health and human services. The plan also outlines needs that were identified by the community in the Human Services Needs Assessment and matches them with the appropriate programs and services. The Fairfax County Board of Supervisors requested that the resource plan reflects the county's fiscal constraints, considers the priorities already established by the Board of Supervisors and Health and Human Services, and is flexible enough to respond to changing priorities, the impact of changes in programming and county demographics, and shifts in federal funding. The resource plan is comprised of three main sections, including the needs assessment categories and definitions, the fiscal year funding summary, and the matrix of services. The needs assessment categories and definitions provides background on the key needs currently facing Fairfax County residents. These needs are found in the areas of housing, economic self-sufficiency, health, connections to resources, and more. These needs are based on the needs assessment report, this is updated every three years and then realigned with the resource plan. The fiscal year funding summary shows the total funding requests and associated new positions required for the outlined fiscal years. It is organized by the needs assessment categories. And lastly, the matrix of services includes details to support the fiscal year funding summary. The matrix of services is sorted by fiscal year and then by needs assessment category. Items labeled with multiple need areas address multiple needs assessment categories. If a category is blank for the fiscal year, then no specific funding requests have been identified. It's important to remember that items listed in the matrix of services include additional requests that are not covered in the current Fairfax County adopted budget for health and human services. Items identified in the matrix of services are listed by program area. The description column summarizes the program and funding needs. The requested funding and number of positions is identified for each item. Under the position column, there are two numbers. The first represents the number of full-time staff positions needed. The second represents the percentage of time required to support the program request. Not all programs require full-time staff for the full year. If a category has zero dollars, then the funding need identified has been completely offset by money from other sources, such as the federal government or grants that results in no cost to the county. Now, let's put it all together by looking at Diversion First as an example. Diversion First is a multi-agency collaboration that offers alternatives to incarceration for people with behavioral health issues who encounter the criminal justice system for low-level offenses. This program falls under the Behavioral Health Services for Adults Needs Assessment category. The request is for 12 full-time positions and additional financial support. Now that we have established how the resource plan works, there are a few things to remember when using this plan. The resource plan is not a commitment to fun activities. This tool is organic, changing as needed, but guiding health and human services priorities to inform budget decisions for years to come. 
Due to fiscal constraints, not all items on the resource plan will be funded each year as part of the Fairfax County adopted budget. Items that are not funded as part of the annual budget process will be reassessed to determine whether they remain a priority. So what can you do? The resource plan is not just for the government, but serves the whole community to proactively match resources with critical needs. To strengthen its value, the community can contribute in three ways. Use this tool to help direct organizational planning and guide investment decisions around health and human services. Share feedback on how this tool can be improved and build awareness among nonprofits, boards, authorities, commissions, and other members of the community with a vested interest. Use the plan to identify and develop new partnerships that address key community needs. To learn more about the resource plan and how it can benefit your organization, visit fairfaxcounty.gov slash health-human services slash resource plan.